about an American medical team that's going to journey deep into sub-Saharan Africa where they'll try to control an outbreak of tuberculosis in the Yoruba tribe of Nigeria. understanding and approval, uh, no one in the village may partake in the care and treatment that the American medical teams may offer. Oftentimes, many other key individuals, such as priests and such, will partake in the education as well, so that they may teach the village people, uh, so that those who teach the village people will have insight and understanding as to what the team has to offer. <laughs> So in respect of the culture and our fear of voodoo, we chose not to use the original chants of the tribes. Uh, what we just witnessed was the witch doctor or the herbalist practicing their traditional healing on a patient believed to be cursed. Uh, they may use voodoo chants along with herbs such as ficus, grains of selum, and others. It is essential that the medical team be considerate of the culture and their views regarding illnesses that they may be dealing with. It is the American medical team's goal to work together with the tribe to incorporate Western medicine into traditional medicine for the treatment of tuberculosis. does have tuberculosis. The herbs that they're using shouldn't re interact with rifampin. Can you educate them for me? Yeah, I'll talk to the chief and see if some people talk to the other. Thank you. 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 <laughs> okay, freeze. So, what we just witnessed was a collaboration between the two medicines, traditional and Western. Uh, is that that time how they, uh, that they will decide and amongst each other how they will combine the two treatments uh, in a culturally appropriate way? Often the American medical team will use medications such as rifampin after they have educated the chief and the tribe on the medication and the illness, while the witch doctor will again use the uh, chant or the voodoo and the herbs. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Okay. So here we saw the combination of the two different medications to uh, uh, collaborating in order to treat this patient more so or better than just one or the other. Um, with the chief's approval and the patient's understanding and consent, we can make a huge difference in these individuals' lives. As you can see from our story, communication skills are possibly the most important skill that you can bring uh, to trying to help these people in the region of Africa. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.